Alright guys, what's up? It's CIA or Chris here. And today's video consists of my predictions of week 3 of Sage 2 of the 2021 CDL season. This week has also been deemed the Los Angeles Gorillas Home Series. Alright, but as always, I hope you guys enjoy. And for the first matchup, we have the Dallas Empire versus the Florida Mutineers. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Dallas Empire. Dallas is a very solid team. They are still currently second in the standings. Florida has also looked good and they just swept off the glass series. They are both some solid teams and it should be an all around close series honestly. For the next matchup we have Optic Chicago versus the Seattle Surge. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the Seattle Surge. Surge has been thriving and they currently are on a win streak. Optic on the other hand has been struggling and they have been swept two series in a row. Optic is still a good team though. I think they will definitely come out hungry and be able to take at least one map on the Surge. For the next matchup we have the Toronto Ultra versus the London Royal Ravens. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the London Royal Ravens. London has been looking a lot stronger ever since the addition of Ball X. Ultra, on the other hand, was barely able to beat LAG in their last series. They are not a bad team, but London has been on fire recently. I feel that all the maps should be close, but London should be able to close maps as they have definitely been looking like the stronger team recently. For the next matchup, we have Atlanta FaZe versus the Los Angeles Gorillas. This matchup, I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. FaZe is currently still undefeated. They are still first in the standings and are currently still deemed the best team in the game. The Gorillas, on the other hand, have been in a slump. They will be coming into this matchup losses to both Ultra and London. I don't really expect this series to be close, to be honest. I feel that FaZe should be able to secure the 3-0 in a very dominant fashion. For the next matchup, we have the Florida Mutineers versus the Paris Legion. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Florida Mutineers. The Mutineers coming into this matchup will be very fired up. They will be coming into the series after a map 5 loss to Dallas. Paris recently has been in a slump. They will be coming into the series after facing losses to both Surge and Dallas recently. Florida is currently higher in the standings as well. I feel that they should have no issues taking the dub here against Paris. For the next matchup, we have the Minnesota Rocker versus the Seattle Surge. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. Rocker 3-0'd Optic last week. They also beat Dallas for their second time on the season. The Surge have looked solid recently though. I feel that they definitely should be able to contend and take some maps. With Sandy, the Rocker have just been looking phenomenal. They have already beat two of the top four teams in the standings right now, which is why I'll have to award them this series. For the next matchup, we have the New York Subliners versus the Toronto Ultra. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the New York Subliners. NYSL has been looking really good. They have been consistently getting wins and are currently third in the standings. The Ultra will also be coming in this match cold. They will still be trying to bounce back from getting 3 0 by London. They are not the worst team though, so I do not feel it should be a blowout. I think they should put up a small fight and give NYSL at least a little bit of a scare. I think they are good enough to secure at least one map in the series. And for the next matchup, we have Atlanta FaZe versus the London Royal Ravens. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. FaZe is currently still undefeated and is currently still also one in the standings. And once again, they are still widely recognized right now as the best team in the game. London has looked solid, but last time they played a top 3 team, they lost 3-1, and that was to NYSL. Because of this, I do not feel they will be able to hold up against this insane FaZe roster either. I think that they all should be close maps as London isn't bad, but FaZe should have no problem taking this series in a 3-0 fashion. For the next series, we have the Los Angeles Thieves versus the Los Angeles Gorillas. This series I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the LA Thieves. The Thieves have already lost to LAG once. Not only did they lose that series, they got swept too. And it was also during a major. They will be super fired up for the second battle of LA and Nate Shot will be pissed. LAG has also been in a slump. They will be coming into the series off losses to both NYSL and Ultra. The Thieves have been playing bad recently. They have been trying to work out the Kings with Venom. I don't think he was prepared for his first series to face his old teammate Paul X and then after that he had to face the best team in the game for his next series. I think the Thieves should be fired up, motivated to play better, and will come out firing in this series. They still haven't looked the greatest though, so I think it should be close. I just feel they will be able to just barely edge it out and get revenge. And for the last series of the weekend, we have the Dallas Empire vs. Optic Chicago. This series I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Dallas Empire. Dallas is still a top team filled with former champs and they are second in the standings. Optic as of late has been struggling. They are coming off three straight losses, with the most recent being the Surge and with two of those being sweeps. Optic is good, but I do not think they will be mentally prepared or ready to face the top team given their recent performance. And now for my updated power rankings. In 12th, the Paris Legion. In 11th, the Los Angeles Gorillas. In 10th, the Los Angeles Thieves. In 9th, Optic Chicago. In 8th, the Toronto Ultra. In 7th, the Florida Mutineers. In 6th, the London Royal Ravens. In 5th, the Seattle Surge. In fourth, the Minnesota Rocker. In third, the New York Subliners. In second, the Dallas Empire. And in first, Atlanta Phase.
Alright guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm super excited to see how games play out this weekend, and as always, I hope the Thieves win, of course. Alright, but as always, let me know what your thoughts are down below, and leave a like if you enjoyed. But until next time, it's been CIA or Chris. Hashtag 100TCIA. Peace.